Hello everyone, it's me Christine, and I am sick. I'm dying. Help. You may have seen me complain about this recently on social media, on my Twitter, or on my Snapchat. And if you haven't, then now you know. So, because I'm sick and I have these excellent, amazing Andy Warhol inspired banana nails that may or may not have been directly inspired by my boyfriend. Oh yeah, that's a banana. Looks pretty good. Yeah. I mean, let's be honest, he did a shitty job, so I decided it was necessary to make these, but actually look good. And because no one wants to listen to me talk for a few minutes, who better else to narrate this video tutorial than my boyfriend Ben himself? Take it away, Ben. <coughs> All right, hi everyone. No, it's hollow. Hello everyone. Yes. Uh, you know, I think I did a pretty good job last time. So yeah, this nail art, uh, these banana nails, are of course inspired by the Andy Warhol image used on the cover of the uh, Velvet Underground and Nico record released in 1967. Uh, but of course, you probably don't care about that, so let's just show you how to get bananas on your nails. So uh, I'm looking at a nail and you're gonna put some color on that nail. It's red, you're gonna use vibrant colors cause you know, why would you wanna be subtle? Uh, and you're using a brush to paint your nail and you're painting the bottom of the nail too, I guess. Uh, you're still painting your nail. I guess you're painting your nail again. Uh, you're still painting your nail. You're spending a lot of time painting your nail. You're spending too much time painting your nail. I like this isn't real, right? Do you how many times do you need to paint one nail? Is this for real? <laughs> okay. All right, now you're using a toothpick to claw at your Okay, and now we're we're peeling up a sticker. And these exist. So these are banana vinyls. Uh you can find them in the the Wait, do these actually exist or were they just made for us? No, they're actually for sale. <laughs> okay, so these these exist. Thank you Twinkle T. Uh these are banana nail vinyls. You can get them at the link below. And yeah, you should get them cuz why wouldn't you want fruit-shaped stickers for your why nail art? Why am I doing what I'm doing right now? Oh, so, okay, so you put the sticker on your nail, and, uh, yeah, you want to leave the, the exposed part of the sticker so you can <laughs> paint the negative space? I don't know. Yeah, but you're sponging on. It's white. You're, you're dabbing whiteness onto... Bitch, dab! Look at my dab! Bitch! You sound like an old woman. <laughs> so yeah, okay, for some reason you put a bunch of white stuff <laughs> on, and now you're painting yellow. It looks the exact same color as the sticker, by yeah. the way. So peel that off. And I mean, it, I think you put that white stuff on for no reason, because I can see the yellow just fine. Now you've got paint. And what's on my other hand, right? <laughs> that's right, that's right. So here's some random nail polish that has nothing to do with the video, <laughs> and it's on my other hand, and it's... It's on your other hand? It's on Christine's other hand, and it's... Here's a shot of it. You should like this, right? I mean, it's... It's sparkly <laughs> and it? shining the light. You could probably get it at some link that's somewhere. And, Below. <laughs> and it's hollow, right? Look at that light. Oh, hollow sexual. So here's gratuitous brush shots. Porn. There's probably some weird music that's making your parents look at you watching this on your phone. And now we're back to uh, what we were here for. Uh, we got some black paint on a yogurt lid. Christine makes me save all the yogurt lids in the house. That's right. And now we're outlining the banana to give it some detail, giving it some uh, old spots. So yeah, we're, we're just outlining the banana, adding some, uh, some black spots. You don't want your banana to be brown or anything, you know, just, you know, just want it to pop a little. You're gonna, I don't know, you're using a tiny little brush to do this. Do you have a little brush? Uh, if not, I don't know what you would do. Use your hair. Didn't you watch my 20 nail art hacks video? No, no, I didn't see that. What? And taped my hair onto the end of it. So don't put on too much black stuff. <laughs> Did I put don't, on too don't, much? Don't overdo the black, you know. Did I do too much? You don't want like a moldy, old mushy banana here. Unless you're making a banana bread. 
you want like a smoothie. What banana. am I doing? So now you're putting on a clear, uh, clear thing to protect your natural nail. No. <laughs> are sealing the design to add a beautiful shine. Uh, are you sure it's to add a beautiful shine? Oh, <laughs> uh, is it a matte one? Yeah. Oh, okay, so it's it's <laughs> it's it's a matte top coat then to give it to kind of dull the uh, the image. And yeah, no, no, you wait for your nails to dry. And look, banana pop art nails. Aren't they beautiful? So many vibrant colors. They're nice to look at, right? This this is the good thing about pop art, actually. It's not pretentious like so many of the other fine arts. You can just kind of enjoy them on a very visceral, superficial level. You don't need to like debate the deeper meaning of them or talk about symbolism. They're they're bananas on pretty colors. Enjoy them, or or don't. Just you know, whatever floats your boat. Whatever whatever floats your banana boat. So uh, yeah, look look at these banana nails. We're seeing a bunch of shots of banana nails, and yeah, are you gonna put these on your nails? Maybe you should. I don't know. If you want to, you don't have to, but you could. Uh, yeah, le let me know in the comments if you're gonna put bananas on your nails, because that's probably a good idea. I still can't believe these actually exist. It's really, you know, a, a dream come true for me. Like, so thank you so much, Twinkle T, for making this dream a reality. So, uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Uh, you should subscribe to this channel, I suppose, if you want to. Keep on rocking in the free world, and, and, uh, yeah, give this video a big thumbs up, um. or do whatever YouTube people tell you to do to their videos. Uh, she'll see y'all next time. Bye.